Hello YouTube, it's channel Anne at Bella today and today I'm going to be doing some pH testing of household liquids. I'm going to start with my fabric conditioner. I've got my litmus paper here and I've got the pH scale here as you can somewhat see. One is acid, six, six, seven and eight are neutral and ten, nine to fourteen are um, alkaline. So we're going to start with the Tesco's own brand fabric conditioner. Ugh, let's pick it up with my tweezers. She says, dip it in. Dip it in again, give it a good old dunk. Let's see. And it's a five, so it's a mild acid. Is the fabric conditioner. Gonna try the water, and this is just regular tap water, not from the filter. So it should be a neutral. And it is, it's seven and it's neutral. Yeah, there's the green. Give it a nice dip so you can see the colour more. That's it. Okay, next is Pepsi Max Cherry. So this should be an acid. This is what I'm expecting. I'm expecting an acid. Here. Yes, that's what I've got. It's an orange. And actually when I put it down on the paper, you can see how red that is. Let's just get move the fabric conditioner up there a bit. That's better. Okay, I'm going to try the lemon washing up now. Lemon washing up liquid, it's Tesco's. Yay, Tesco's. Oh. Annoyance. Yeah, never mind that, it's washing up liquid, it's not going to kill us. I can do this because I'm over 18, obviously. If you are not over 18, this will require adult supervision. Yeah, and that is a neutral, which is what we, we would expect from washing up liquid. Next is Method Bathroom Surface Cleaner. She says that she cannot get this. Oh, there we go. So it's sprayed in there. That's come up a nice acid. There we go. Now this one, do not do at home if you are under 18, please. Because this is bleach. And it should be, oh, look at that. What a lovely reaction. Yeah, it's a nice, strong alkaline, is that? Look at that. And that is a very, very strong alkaline. It's about a 10. Yeah, that is, that's a 10. That's a very, very strong alkaline. It's probably one of the strongest chemicals you will actually have in your house. That is bleach. Going to try the now mouthwash. And we can dip that in because it goes in our mouth. And that's okay. No, we've left it in there. Hooray! Tweezer fishing. Yeah, and that should come out a neutral because I wouldn't expect mouthwash to be anything other than neutral. And there's the lovely colour train for you. And actually, it is a very, very dark neutral, which is about an 8 on here. Or maybe even a 9. No, it's definitely about an 8. Oh, this is quite fun, actually. I'm going to dip this in Pepsi again. See if we get a better reaction. It all depends on how long it goes in. No, it's still an orange. Okay. Okay, we're now going to try olive oil from Tesco's. And this should be okay because it's olive oil and I'm expecting neutral yeah 
and that is actually yeah six it's a light acid nothing too dangerous there sith now I mean, ideally, you would be wiping this as uh, the tweezers after every dip, but that's just not possible. I'll just put this in like that. Whoa! Look at that. That's a very, very strong reaction there. That's about a nine, so that's a strong bleach, strong alkali, very similar to bleach. So there we have it. We have fabric conditioner which is one of our acids, so that is a 6 or a 5 fabric conditioner. Water is neutral because we drink it. Pepsi is actually coming up about 4. Lemon washing up is about 7. Method bathroom surface cleaner is an acid of about 5 and 6. Bleach is the strongest chemical change we've actually got, and it's sort of between, it is, it's about 14 on here. Or a 10. Apologies for the shaking. Mouthwash is neutral, which is what we'd expect. Olive oil is a strong, well, it's it's a weak acid, it's about a five. And then sif is about a nine. On here an eight. So I hope you've enjoyed this pH scale check of everyday objects, looking at alkalines, acids, and neutrals. Please like, comment and subscribe. Bye.